Hi, Adam Hewison here, coming to you live from the digital studios of Market Club, and today we're going to be looking at gold, silver, and a rare earth stock. And we're going to determine which has the strongest trend, and which one should you be looking to get into, and in some cases, more importantly, to get out of. So let's get started right away. The first chart we're looking at is a chart of gold, and we've talked about gold before many times, but uh, one thing I wanted to bring to your attention in today's video is this, and that is we are looking at a market that has a minus 65 reading right here. You can see that. So we've got our monthly and weekly trends that are negative going down. And I think that's important to look at. So remember that 65. Now we also said a couple of videos back, we said if you have a 65 reading, you really are in a trading range. Uh, and I think that's an important element to be considering at the moment in this particular market. This is gold, spot gold. We're going back to the dates August of 2010 right around here to the present time. We're doing this live as we speak in the show. The market's presently trading at 1363, 1363.33. And this is an updated price. But the one thing to look at is we have just went outside of the downward channel for Donchian. And we've talked about this before. When you go outside of a channel, you want to be careful because normally the market comes back inside that channel. We're also at an area just like we were here, here, and here at some a high level that is potentially can cause a problem for this market. So I'd be very concerned about this particular rally. We haven't got a weekly trade triangle. Now, if our weekly trade triangles kick in, that changes the whole game for us. But right now, it would appear as though we're going to be running up against resistance, and we may see a pullback in gold. So I would not say gold is the number one trend right now. Let's take a look at our next market, and that's going to be silver. Okay, this is a chart of spot silver, and it's from the exact same time frame as the gold from August of 2010, as starting right here. But this is a big difference just in this market alone in terms of the trend, because we're still in a very strong strong trend in this market. And you can see all of our lines are plus 100. Monthly up, weekly up, daily up, very strong trends. We're also overbought, but in the terms of the gold, it, silver rather, it doesn't make too much of a difference because this market's very strong. The resistance is going to come in around 31 to, I would say 31 to 31.50, 32 perhaps. So this is going to be resistance for silver. And I think potentially uh, we could see the market go over there. It looks very, very strong. This, this market's much, much stronger than gold. And it's where the interest is in the market right now, is in the silver markets. I'd have to say this is definitely a bigger market and a more trending market than gold right now. Our last market is the stock MCP or Molly Corp. It's traded on the NYSE. And we have taken this from the same time frame that we took the gold and the silver, and that's from back in August of 2010. As you can see, we've had a nice run up, and the positive thing in my mind in this particular stock is that our monthly is still positive. We're currently long from 30, and it's trading right now. We're doing this live at 52.60. So again, we don't have a weekly confirmation yet. However, if this market goes over 53 80 this week, that will be a bullish signal on our weekly trade triangles. This weekly trade triangle will then turn green as a go, and you'll have this number will then turn into a plus 100%. So it has to turn green before it gets uh, the full treatment, the plus 100, which is a strong trend. So in order of importance right now, I would say we have number one, has to be silver. Number two has to be rare earth, and that's Molly Corp we're talking. And number three has to be gold. 
So in order of trend, this is definitely the strongest trend. It's a plus 100, if you remember. This is also plus 75. And we have a sort of anemic sort of 65 here. So again, this is just an easy way for you to tell which markets are trending and which markets to look at and get into. So obviously 100 is a very strong trend. 75 is still a good uptrend because you still have the monthly in place. Oh, and by the way, with stocks are different from futures. We've had this question all, all, all the time. If you're trading futures with trade triangles, you're going to be using the weekly and daily trade triangles. Weekly for trend, daily for timing. On stocks like this particular stock, Molly Corp, you will be trading the monthly trade triangle equals the trend. Okay? The weekly is timing. So that's all you have to remember with this program. It's very, very simple. And this is done extraordinarily well. It'll make you money if you stick with the program. So there you have it. Silver, number one, silver. Number two, rare earth, Molly Corp. Number three, gold. That's all you need to know. Just use the trade triangles. They'll get you to the safe places and make you money. Hey, this is Adam Hewson for Market Club. Thanks for stopping by and every success in the future.